gone, all of you foolish nobodies. You never stood a chance. I should have warp sniped there. Get out of here. Be gone from my sight. Oh, yeah, let's keep going, Berserk, boys. I love this reaction command. Ow, 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 ow. Much pain. Help. I actually said help and then Donald did it. I'm trying to get far enough away to where I can just zap this guy. Oh my goodness, screw off. Donald's dead, oh no! What is... What hit me there? Whatever. They even let you fight Xemnas and Roxas at the very start? That's weird. So Cage 3 is the first one that made it. I could have sworn that because that's how it was in Remind. They didn't let you fight Zay and order Xion until the end. I thought it was the same way in Cage 2. It's been a long time since I fought the Data 13. Berserk nobodies are really annoying, but I love the reaction command you can do with them. But as a heartless, or heartless, as an, an enemy, they're really annoying. Oh no, the dancers. They're here to dance all over my hopes and dreams. There we go. Also, it looks like none of the enemies can, like, drop materials here, because we haven't gotten a single drop. So. Hello, Mr. Wizard. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Hey, stop. It's, like, stop. That was weird. I've never had a wizard do that many consecutive hits like that. My heal was better than yours, Donald. Oh, my word. Aw, oh, dang it. That's right, I'm using to become one. I'm stupid. My bad. That was really dumb of me. Dude, I hate the dancer nobodies. I have two become one and I tried to go into wisdom form. That's, wait a minute, that's illegal. Help. Oh no. There is a legit chance I could die here because we're stuck in this room in anti-form. Which is why I'm just gonna like run around for a little bit. Please stop being an anti-form, Sora. Help. Help! Oh my goodness, my form lasts so long. That's normally so good, but right now it's so bad. Nope. I'm just gonna keep doing this circle strat until I am no longer an anti-form. This, this is our life now. It won't be our life for much longer because we're almost formed out. That's what I for, that's what I get for forgetting that I had to become one equipped. Help. Oh, thank you. Alright, everything is right with the world. You guys all get to die now. As soon as I stop getting stun locked. Eventually. Oh my word. Screw off. Stupid dancers. No one likes your dancing. I don't remember how many phases there are here, but there are a few. Because I'm pretty sure this is the end of the room. After this will be in the, uh, the data area. Just let me hit you, brother. There we go. Still more, huh? We still going here? Help. Dude, I hate fighting two wizards at once. Or sorcerers, whatever these stupid things are called. They just keep hitting you out of your attack animation over and over. What is happening? That was weird. There we go. There's still more of you, really. We're still, still doing this. My attacks keep getting blocked somehow. Oh my word. Why are there so many of you? That's mine now, thank you, jump. That jump was completely worthless, well done. Oh 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh my word! Fighting this many nobodies in an enclosed space is way more annoying than I remember it being. Like, my goodness, they all have so many moves that just, like, stun lock you in place for a second. I hate it. And just take up so much of the screen. Uh, yep, can't do anything. Uh, cool. I literally couldn't move during any of that. Finally. Holy cow, man. Wish there was a way to cancel out of your drive form, not just for anti-form, but any of them. I mean, you can. Whenever you're in a drive form, you just do this. And then revert. But you can't revert out of anti-form. We're here at last. The Garden of Assemblage. Chests first. Okay. Is there not a Moogle here? I thought there'd be a Moogle and a save point here. But evidently there are not. Well. Oh, look at that. You can do Roxas and Xemnas right out the gate. That's weird. I like it better in Remind, where it doesn't let you access Xion and Xehanort until after you've beaten the other 11. Well? I don't know, chap. What do you guys... What do you guys want to do when it comes to, uh... The order. We can do just like a classic start from 13, make our way to 1. Or backwards, start from 1, make our way to 13. Or we can be weird with it. We can do something a little more unique. We could do something a little more random. Could just let chat vote and decide like, hey, I want you to fight this one right now. And then whoever says the most... Like, if a bunch of people say, fight Luxord first, we fight Luxord, etc., etc. Can I go out this door? Yeah, back to the restoration site. I think now, isn't that uh, pipe or something going to be broken up? Or... Oh, no, you walk right through there, actually. Okay. Nice. Before we get into taking out the data 13, let me look at the journal. All the maps are done. That's nice. Fight Xemnas. Yeah, fight every single enemy again. How are we doing... Oh, we've seen every single Heartless in the game now. That's that's cute. How many puzzle pieces am I missing? I'm missing one in Radiant Garden, and I don't think it's in the Garden of Assemblage. Alright, so we need to go find that one puzzle piece and then finish the puzzles. We're gonna do that real quick, and we're gonna go see a Moogle to... Synthesize Ultima. Alphabetical order. Evens first, odds second. Decisions, decisions. If we're gonna do some kind of, like, numerical order or something like that, I'd rather just count up or down. If it's not just gonna be a more random number. Where am I going? Let's go make Ultima first. And then we have to find this one puzzle piece I'm missing, which hopefully won't take more than a minute or two. Hey guys, is there a puzzle piece around here? I think the puzzle piece has to be down like towards where Sephiroth is probably. Judging from where it is on the, uh, the ordering. Hey, Ori Calcum Plus, thank you. It is finally time. Or maybe it isn't. 
What am I missing? Oh, I still only have six? Wait a minute, where's the seventh one? Where'd my seventh Orichalcum go? Did I not get every Orichalcum last stream except for this one? Oh, wait, no, I remember, I remember. You have to, like, leave and go back in, don't you? Yep, yep. So they give you the Orichalcum Plus, but then it's not in the in their system until you leave and come back in because that triggers you giving it again. Okay, cool. I remember that now. I was really confused for a second there. Like, wait a minute, what have I done wrong? All right, so we have to use an energy crystal here to make it possible to do it with only seven Orichalcum Plus, and then we can never make Ultima ever again. May as well throw a bright crystal on as well for the sake of it. Boom. The Keyblade, above all others, increases MP restoration rate by 75%. I believe that's MP Hastega, which is uh, the only way you can get that ability, I believe. Uh, let's make the Shadow Archive once. There it is. I love the look of that. And then the Shock Charm we'll make once. And then Draw Ring I don't even care about making. Centurion, we need a ton of Remembrance stuff. Holy cow. I want to look at... I believe chat said Full Bloom Plus was really good. If you can make it. So let's do that. Full Bloom Plus. Drastically increases strength and maximum AP. Increases MP restoration. Oh, it gives you, like, MP haste. That's amazing. I'm going to make another one of those. Make, like, two of those bad boys. Oh, now I can't make more Shadow Archives. I should have looked at that real quick first. Oh, well. You know what, Goofy? There you go again, brother. Just because I like you. Drastically increases magic and maximum AP. Okay. So let's look at definitely Goodbye Full Bloom. Hello, Full Bloom Plus. It's the exact same, except it gives you MP haste, which is amazing. Uh, Cosmic Arts is good. I want to keep it. Fencer Earring could maybe be switched out. Mage Earring could maybe be switched out. Let me see. Shadow Archive. Shadow Archive is just a better version of this. Yeah, now I kind of wish I had made a uh, Shadow Archive Plus. Whoops. And then I think a Full Bloom Plus. One more Strength, one less Magic, but it gives me another MP Haste. I think that's a better pick right there. And then keep the Cosmic Arts for plus two on both Strength and Magic. All right. And then 5633. This only gives 20% dark resist. I think that's fine, honestly. Wait a minute. Nah. That might be okay as is. What's this other thing? Oh, Ultima. Right. Put on Ultima. The Ultima weapon with MP Hastega. Then. Put, I mean, I love you, Bond of Flame, but I'd rather have two become one. Very nice, very nice. Look at this beautiful Keyblade. Look at this. Look at how nice that is. I'm reading chat right now to see how chat wants to do the Data 13. Does MP Haste, Hestega, and etc. stack? I would assume so. I mean, it has to. Based on percentages, though. Not straight numbers. I don't know if it's a multiplicative thing or if it's a uh, just a straight-up stack. But I'm sure that they benefit. I'm sure it's worth having MP Haste even if you have MP Hestega, is what I'm trying to say. I'd be shocked if it didn't. Oh, I should uh, actually... Should put some better stuff on these nerds. Because I have, like, other full blooms and everything. Like the mage earring, there you go. Definitely a full bloom plus would be really good on, on Goofy. Or no, I put two full bloom pluses on Sora, didn't I? You can just have the full bloom. There we go. I am missing a puzzle piece somewhere. There is a puzzle piece somewhere in the game that I did not get. Ability description says it will stack, but it doesn't say how. 
Oh yeah, that's right. It does say equip more to increase the effect, doesn't it? Uh, Sephiroth is over here. We're not gonna fight Sephiroth right now. I don't think we get a cutscene by walking in here. We just see him. Yeah, he's just standing there, and we have to, like, choose to approach him, I think. Or maybe walk a little bit closer. Um, I just wanted to see if the puzzle piece was right there, and it isn't. This is actually very unfortunate that I missed one puzzle piece in normal Radiant Garden somewhere, and I don't know where it is. You know what? If it's not down the Crystal Fissure Path, I bet it's back over near the Cavern of Remembrance, but it's, like, uh, it's in the pathway going to Tron, that winding pathway. I bet it's there. I want to find that and have it done. Because if we get the puzzle stuff done, we have Ultima now. We went through the Cavern of Remembrance. We did synthesizing. I'm pretty sure all that's left after I find this puzzle piece is the Data 13, Sephiroth, and the Lingering Will. So, you know, I kind of want to get the puzzle piece done so we don't, like, fight the Data 13 and then go be like, all right, now we got to hunt down a puzzle piece before we can fight Sephiroth. That'd be kind of weird. Uh, the puzzle piece right there I've already gotten at some points. I think it's got to be in this little pathway here somewhere. Here in the corridors. Probably. Maybe there's one pathway I didn't take. Yep, right there. Knew it. That's exactly what happened. I just never went down that hall all the times I went through here. And so it was just waiting there the entire time. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's get this last puzzle done, chat. Limits. Oh, that's right. I did player four slash stream when I was trying to do the number eight mushroom. Last one. We just got to get it all in the right locations. Which is actually a little difficult to do when there are no dead spaces. There's Demix, Demix, etc. Goes there. Is that that's Axel? Yeah. Yeah, this is a little difficult to do when there are no blank spaces to look at. But I think we about got it. This is Riku with just very like blonde looking hair. How strange. Where? Here. Ah, oh, there it is. We got it. Boom. The Grand Ribbon highly increases all resistances and extremely increases defense. That sounds like something I'm going to put on Sora before doing the Data 13. That is exactly what that sounds like. Three, three. I think this is my worst item right now. Ooh, boy, yes. Now we're talking. We got a good amount of elemental... Re almost 50% resistant on Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder, and 25% resistant on Dark. That's pretty darn good. And then these just give, like, five and six defense, respectively. That's pretty darn good, chat, I say. For all his faults, Sephiroth seems to be a very patient man. He knows how to take his time. He really does. Let's save the game real quick. Because there wasn't a save point in the, uh, whatchamacallit. I barely use items in this game, but let's look real quick. We only have two elixirs? That's astounding to me. You don't get items very much in this game. I'm going to put on some ethers. Just in case we end up needing them. Ideally, we won't, but we'll see. We have those there if we need them. I know you can uh, synthesize elixirs if we really feel like we need elixirs for one of the fights. Coming through. All right, the Garden of Assemblage. So, chat, let's run this back. After everyone in chat has seen other people in chat giving their suggestions, how do we want to go about fighting the 13? I did see someone suggest something that I think would be kind of neat, is to defeat them in the, like, the canonical order that they die in the series throughout Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2. And that would lead to us, because, like, technically Roxas doesn't ever die, because his, uh, his little thing in the Proof of Existence, it never fades away. Like, he's in Sora. So that would mean we finish with 
Xemnas and then Roxas. We do Xemnas to Roxas, 1 in 13 at the very, at the very end. Although I've got to do some, like, uh, I've got to do some, like, figuring out in my head of the order of death in Castle Oblivion. I think Vexen, in that case, is the first one dead? I think. A random number generator could also be kind of cool, just to have it be 1,000% random. But the problem with random number generator is, is I really do want to do something that makes it where I end on either Roxas or Xemnas. Because, you know, I, I like having, like, a climactic end. Not that any of these fights are bad. The only fight that wouldn't be climactic is if we fought Lexius last, because Lexius is, like, the easiest out of fight, from what I remember. But, like, I want the final fight to be, like, something, you know, crazy, sort of. Like... A really significant final fight and I think if we do it in order of defeats it'll be Roxas last Xemnas second to last 